Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I have just had a little trip to B&M. I felt like it had been a little while um, and I treated myself to quite a few nice things so I thought I'd share them with you. Always, always love B&M for all of their garden range. Like they just always have the nicest things in for decorating outside. So I got a few bits for that. I've got some like little goodies like snacks and things. A few bits for the kitchen. I can't remember what else but yeah I will dive into the bags and show you everything that I picked up today. So the first thing that I wanted to show that I have had my eye on for a little bit, which is this welcome garden sign. I just think this is the cutest little thing. It was £12. A couple of them I had to just check because there was like some little bulb patches on some of them with the leaves, but this one was quite like nice and full. I just think it's dead cute. I'm going to put it on the wall outside underneath like um, my pergola. Um, area and yeah I love that it's like it's attached with like hessian it's just cute isn't it I don't think it was too bad either for £12 it also lights up and um, it's got a little solar light on it as well so that'll just be really pretty at night time and yeah like I say I've had my eye on it for a little bit and then thought today I'm gonna get it and it's got little hangers on the back so you can stick it on the fence or stick it on the wall or you could just have it standing up on something but yeah have a cute little garden sign and I love anything that lights up especially like fairy lights and things in the garden at night time I just feel like it is so cosy feeling it makes everything look better I got some more fairy lights like I haven't got enough <laughs> which are these string lights but I thought these were really nice because they've got like little flowers inside them I don't know if you can see properly I just thought they were so pretty so I'm gonna again I'm gonna put them outside underneath I think I'm gonna put them underneath my pergola I know I've had a few messages actually about my garden about showing the garden doing an update and I do plan to do something like that. I want to actually go plant shopping and get some new plants and just like give it a little bit of a spruce up for summer. So this is like part of that where I'm just getting things to make the outside look a bit neater and nicer again. Because it's looking and it just does every year, doesn't it? Like things need doing. I actually need to repaint my patio. So I did a garden video and part of that was painting my patio slabs and then I did like a stencil on them which has lasted for a few years now it's been I think this is like the second year of it being on there but what I think I might do because obviously it's not it's fine still but I think it would be nice if I just maybe painted over them again and re-stenciled because it really didn't take me that long either and I think it'll just make such a difference because over time it has like come off in some areas but if you're thinking of painting your patio slabs like it, it is for me I thought like it made such a difference because the patio before was absolutely disgusting like mismatch slabs so if I do end up doing that like that'll be part of the video as well it's just getting around to it but I will show how I paint them and all of that sort of thing and um, yeah just adding some nice bits for when I'm sitting outside in the evening I love some fairy lights so this is a 10 string light pack which was £10 I love that they've got flowers in them they have so many nice outdoor lights actually just like everything and anything um they also have like fairy lights that you can put around your egg chairs which i think is really cute which i wouldn't mind having some for my big rattan chair outside i think that would be nice as well yeah just loads and loads in there a couple of homeware bits that i got <laughs> i mean i've been going on about getting one of these for ages and i thought this is actually like a really nice size they do these candles in black and in white i love that it's like pure white because sometimes they're a bit yellow and i didn't want a yellowy looking one it was three pound and i think i'm just gonna put it in the kitchen i think anyway i don't know what it is about these but i just think pretty cute i like them um so yeah it's probably just gonna go next to like a vase or something or on the um kitchen shelf because everything in there pretty much is black and white and i didn't know whether to get the black one but i thought I'd prefer it in this color so yeah i picked up one of them and then i also got another candle just because i just really like the smell of it and i do like the little pot that it comes in smells gorgeous it is sugared mandarin um and it was three pound it smells so good again i think that might go in the kitchen I've, i haven't bought any candles for ages and the joe malone one that i had for my birthday is near enough ran out i don't know that you can quite see it um so that's sad so that's not going to be a regular thing that I'm having. So back to B&M and this does smell very nice and strong and hopefully it will be. Love B&M candles. I've got some new tea towels. Oh no, that's a bit, it's got a loose thread on it. Hopefully that's not like going to 
unravel or anything. Um, £3.50 for three of these tea towels. These are quite similar to ones that I've had from B&M before that I've got at the moment, like black ones with tassels. And it was a two pack and I bought them thinking that they won't get used. I will keep them like nice, like display tea towels. <laughs> But I keep using them, the kids keep using them, so they're getting a little bit tatty, which is fine. Because all of mine are a little bit like scruffy looking and just a bit um, seeing better days. So I thought I'd get these ones because they're just a nice pattern. As tea towels go, I don't think they are too bad whatsoever. Good size. And yeah, £3.50. I'm quite excited about some of the snacks that I got. So B&M is just so good, especially if it's a big b &M, full stocking like all sorts of treats and cereals and snacks that they don't do everywhere because a lot of it like they'll have like Australian chocolate in there and things sometimes they're a little bit pricey though but it's a good place if you want to like get a few different things I did get these which is the dairy milk caramel um chocolate bars which is a four pack of them they also do like the twirls in this caramel as well um yeah just love I'm a proper chocolate lover sweet tooth i do like the thought of having one of them with a cup of tea and i also got these biscuits which i'm really hoping are the ones that i think they are that i remember having as a kid i'm not sure yet but they're the crinkle crunch foxes i love foxes biscuits obviously covered in chocolate um but yeah i think they're going to be very nice again with another cup of tea and these if you have not tried them go to b&m and get them because they are so so nice and um, these milker dime clusters like they're like little clusters of um, chocolate and I think it's got like maybe a bit it's got like cornflakes in it I don't know but they are just so nice I love milk of chocolate really really good but and they do loads of those different milk bars in B&M as well don't they but every time I spot these because I don't always see them I always have to get a bag I normally eat them in like one sitting because they're just so good I also got a few bits for because I'm just really full-on obsessed with iced coffee at the moment just with it being hot and everything um i've always loved it but like wanting to get different syrups and things in i said this in another video um i got some more vanilla syrup no i don't think this one is sugar-free the last one that i got was from home bargains it was sugar-free and it's like nice enough but sometimes sugar-free things they do taste quite artificial and there was always that little bit of like it's not quite as good it's never going to be as good as it i suppose it's the real thing it's like full on fully sugar um but obviously i don't want to be having too much of that but i love a vanilla ice latte so syrup for that and then i also got this just because you know if i'm feeling really fancy one day i got some of this chocolate drizzle sauce that i thought i could put in like around the cup this is obviously going to be very popular in this house anyway it says about like putting it on cakes using it to dunk little donuts in like how nice would this be with some like pancakes and things with a little dipping sauce putting it on ice cream love carnation stuff as well like the caramel sauce what's it called dutch de leche um is that how you say it that is just delicious and also condensed milk i'm a little bit obsessed with um they put it on like ice cream in america don't they um condensed milk I could honestly drink a tin of that, which would be no good at all. Oh, I tell you what I had once as well. Um, a Spanish latte, which was instead of milk, it was condensed milk. Absolutely delicious. So that's worth trying as well. Maybe I should make one of them one day, actually, for a really like indulgent iced coffee. Um, very, very nice. Very sweet. Obviously, if you've got a sweet tooth, then it's going to be up your street. I also got these snacks for the boys because this is just normally something that's really good for them to just me chuck it in there like their school bags for snacks Archie loves them so much like more than anyone I have to make sure he doesn't eat them all um because he just thinks that these are just the nicest thing ever so they're like five little individual packs of BNs I remember when BNs first came out and I remember mithering to like try them obviously you can get the big packs but with the big packs I never see the strawberry ones I only ever see vanilla and white chocolate and Toby doesn't like chocolate so I get him the little strawberry ones and then I get Dylan and Archie the chocolate ones or Dylan will eat either to be honest. Um, yeah, so 25 biscuits because you get five in each pack, just like little individual packs in there. So they always go down well. And then I got some like beauty bits. So this is the 
hairspray that I really like at the minute because I just feel like it's really strong hold so if I want to add like a bit of volume or whatever to my hair then I do feel this is really good or for keeping curls in not today so much obviously I need some because the humidity has hit me as I've just <laughs> come out because it's really warm isn't it we've got like as I'm filming this anyway like a whole week at least of gorgeous sunshine I hope it's not like going to be cold after this this little hot um hot spell but I love it i hope that you've like been spending it in beer gardens or like days out like the bank holiday weekend because it's just been glorious hasn't it? it just i love it um but yeah i got some of this freeze hold tresemme hairspray so if you're looking to try a new hairspray that you want like a good strong one i do think this is very good i think it was around three pound fifty three pound seventy nine but yeah, I do think that's quite a good one. And I also got some of these hay fever wipes. I'm hoping that these are suitable for kids actually because the whole reason that I bought them was I was thinking that I could put them in Dylan's bag because Dylan gets hay fever and I thought if he's at school and he gets hay fever then he can just use one of these wipes. But it doesn't actually say. I'm sure they'll be fine. Can't see why they wouldn't be. Yeah, I thought that that would be quite a good thing to keep in his bag. If not, it'd be a good thing to keep in my bag. They work anyway. You get 30 in there and they were a pound for them. And then I got some toothpaste. I just got this um, charcoal toothpaste by Oral-B, which, how much is that? I think it's quite pricey. £3.45 for that. Quite an expensive tube of toothpaste that is, isn't it? Um, and I don't know how much they do. do they do actually work. I just feel like... That's one that I quite like. Always makes me feel like my teeth are really clean. And then I also got some argan oil, which is just for your hair. I find obviously this time of year, my hair's drier, especially like my extensions. I feel like my extensions are coming to the end of their life a little bit as well. So I am needing to like oil them up and everything, but they've lasted so long. I got them from um, Boxy Locks and their tape extensions i've just loved them it's going to be coming up to a year i think that i've had this these ones if you're thinking about extensions maybe don't look at mine today as like a good example because my hair does need washing um but yeah i got some of this argan oil which i think was like a pound really inexpensive oh one pound 69 for that um just to keep my hair soft yeah that is everything that i got snacks and homeware and i'm happy um <laughs> That's all I need. I did actually have a little look in the garden centre bit, but a lot of the plants like needed watering and they were all a bit dead, so that was a bit disappointing. But um, I do need to go and get some plants, and I do feel like BM is very reasonable for their, for their plants and um, all their outdoor stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go put all this away now. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I got in today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. It'd be really nice if you came back again for my next video. Bye everyone.